pictures of you? Yeah, you just find your pictures of my truck sometimes. I went by. Yeah, yeah, I have a, a trucker blog. I just take a picture of your truck. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> I know what no, it's called. Man. It's called a trucker's life. If you look it up on your on your YouTube channel, you'll uh -huh. see, you see your truck. On oh, have you got one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing nothing crazy. Okay, that's what I, I was like. Wait, I, that didn't yeah, I, I get that. I get that sometimes, man. But nah. My name is George, man. I'm Jamie. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Be safe, bro. Yeah. I want a little bit thick, but you, you no, know, no, 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 no. <laughs> I totally get it, brother. I totally get it. Yeah. Hi, man. Hi. All right, man. What's up guys? Um, well, I'm out here walking around taking uh, pictures and videos. Um, this happens sometimes, you know, somebody goes by and they think that I'm taking a video uh, that I'm not supposed to or whatever, but this gentleman here got off. We talked a little bit. Everything's cool. I'm t telling him that this is about, um, the channel's about us truck drivers showing regular people what the life is out gotcha, here. Man. It's a struggle and and gotcha. everything we go through so gotcha. just uh you know let you know everything's cool That's and fine. be out there be safe brother all right i appreciate it be on here trucker's life you want to say hi to anybody say what's up i'm good you're good <laughs> where are you from i'm out of uh i'm in north carolina too. north carolina Marshall. okay cool, brother. Mean, be safe man for all real right, see you. yeah thanks well i don't know if you guys watch the shred the shred man on youtube but like he says all the time views on views here in beautiful North Carolina off of I-40 in uh, the Black Mountains. I think that's what it's called. Right before you get to the state line with Tennessee, there's this uh, spot where I like to stop and park. And I like to come take pictures down here and check it out. Tell me this is not beautiful. If you don't think this is beautiful, then something's wrong with you. <laughs> and, uh, turning around if you look over there you can't really see because of the yeah can't really see but back there is, uh, that's I-40 the freeway is going by and up above is just a uh, just a regular road a little back road but uh yeah guys I ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna sit here and lie and think that I didn't get nervous when that big old dude came and got off that dump truck and came uh, <laughs> and came over, uh, he he got off that truck. He slammed on the brakes and he got off that truck in a hurry. Y'all hear me? In a hurry. And uh, he was a big old guy. He was tall, way taller than me. So uh, I saw him get off. I was like, oh dang. But. Once you get to talking to people and let them explain to them what's what you're really doing, it's it's nothing bad. But you know, cameras do tend to be intimidating to not really intimidating, but when they see you with a camera, they think you're trying to do something, some type of harm to somebody or to them. Totally get it. Um, if you ever see me out there and I'm taking video and you're in the video, just let me know that you don't want to be in the video and. No problem, we'll cut you out the video. Edit you out, no big deal. But, yeah, that got, uh, that got a little hairy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie, that got a little hairy. I gotta go back at the footage, see if my hand wasn't shaking like this when I was talking to him. <laughs> uh, especially out here, you know, ain't nobody out here but us, because we were on an off ramp, and it's not a very, very busy road, so, uh, you know. If he'd have had to do whatever he had to do, but it has been some time before I got some help. <laughs> but no, nah, he turned out to be a great guy. Uh, it was great meeting you, man. Be safe out there on the road. But yeah, I just made a point to stop here and, you know, uh, not again going back on my problems, right? But just to sit down and reflect and just uh, think about stuff and listen to the uh, water going by. I don't know, for me, it, it's, it, it calms me down and makes me feel good and, and uh, puts me in a good spot. So, yeah, that's why I stopped here. Wasn't planning on having that, uh, <laughs> that interaction, but hey, this is the real deal. I'm not, I'm not making none of this up, you know, guys. Uh, this is the real deal, and uh, that's just the way it happens sometimes. But yeah, I'm going to sit down, relax a little bit, take a few pictures and uh just chill but um i'm 
I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna try to stop at the Petro in uh, Knoxville. My uh, friend said that somebody had run into one of the pot, one of the um, one of the tanks there, or one of the fuel pumps, and it caught fire. You guys probably already know about it, but I'm gonna see what uh, take maybe a little video and see what we can see from or what we can think about maybe happened there because it was kind of a uh, kind of weird thing that you would go into the fuel pumps and hit the fuel pumps and then the fuel pumps catching fire. Gas, yes, it ignites real easy, but diesel, it takes a lot to get diesel going, so I don't know. But we'll go check that out. So, yep, I'm just gonna chill and uh, we'll catch y'all on the other side. Hopefully I don't encounter another pissed off dude. <laughs> At least not that big. <laughs> All right. made it to the Petro right outside of Knoxville where supposedly the uh, there was a fire and if you can tell right there on the uh, up to the top right there you can kind of see where uh, there is a little bit of fire damage and the pump is actually um, kind of got a little bit of damage right there but yeah um what happened was well this don't quote me on this but a, a older gentleman that walked by that he uh, parks his truck here every day was telling me that a um, FedEx truck pulled in to get fuel and it happened to be that um, they I guess the fuel pump overflowed and it uh, went into the hot exhaust and it caught the truck on fire um, now as bad as trucks you know as bad as I've seen truck fires and as bad as I saw like the footage of uh, the actual this actual truck on fire on the news um, it looked pretty bad but the building and uh, and the roof above that uh, the awning right there didn't even look doesn't look as bad as as you would think it is but they have shut the whole building down so they're doing repairs so if you want to stop here you can't get fuel for now and then you have to go uh, if you want to go to your restroom or whatever you got to go up to the main building but yeah um, yeah I was there trying to we were trying to figure out this other driver's truck um, that was having issues and he had oil spilt all over the place and um me and that older gentleman were trying to figure out where that truck was losing uh, all that that oil from and it happened to be that it was the uh, turbo the turbo was uh going out and it was putting oil all over the place so uh the the young man that you know had the 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 problems you know he was an owner operator so man hopefully hopefully man you got your truck going um his name's uh uh, shout out to Deshaw, um, man. I hope you got your truck running. I hope you're, uh, you know, it's not gonna cost you that much to get it going. But um, yeah, guys. So yeah, just stopped a little bit, take my 30 minute break, take this little bit of video, and um, got to meet a couple great guys again. And just like the guy I met earlier, um, circumstances were a little different with him, but nonetheless, I got to meet uh, him. And uh, shout out to you also. Um, I think his name was Jamie or Jeremy. Shout out to you. Um, with that being said, guys, that's it for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. See y'all in the next one. 
Peace, and I'm out of here.